Of course, you're watching on YouTube, in which case, I'm right on time. Uh, if you're not watching on YouTube, if if you could, please, that'd be, that'd be great. I need help with my numbers. It'd be, it'd be lovely. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, so tonight, it is Friday night. It is movie night. We're going to be watching Kill Doza. Uh, and it got me thinking. It got me thinking we could really set up our own Jurassic Park-style island, right, with, like, all the evil movie vehicles, you know what I'm saying? Carrie would be there, of course. Killdozer. Killdozer could be included. Uh, I would say Mega Weapon from Warriors of the Wasteland. But Mega Weapon was more of just like a vehicle being driven by someone, so he, he didn't count. He's not really, he doesn't think, right? He just does what he's told. Um, who else? Oh, Kit from Knight Rider. And I know you're going to say, Kit was the good guy. Well, that was only when Michael was awake. And then Michael would go to sleep and... It would get up to some really dark... I, I don't want to get too deep into it, but, like, there's a there's a disturbing number of dead sex workers on the highway behind Kit. Car from Knight Rider. Car could be included. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to sit and watch Killdozer and make stupid jokes and have a good time. It's a, it's a blast. I love it. A uh, little bit of quick housekeeping for our YouTube friends. If you could, please like subscribe all that fun stuff i could really use the support i would really appreciate that helps get the visibility out there um we of course have our qr code over here for extra life for kids you can donate to support honor palmer children hospital here in orlando florida i'd really appreciate that as well and there is of course going to be the tip link in the description below to uh you know help support the channel i notice you all haven't been tipping and i can only assume that that's because you can't read. So, all right, let's let's go ahead and get the movie started. This is Kill Dozer from 1974, as, as they put on the video description right there. It would help if I had my headphones on, though. I don't know why about that. Are we in space? Oh, that was your first mistake. You put a bulldozer in space. What else is it going to do? Denied it its one true purpose. Fireworks followed by a meteorite. I think Shibuya is about to get screwed. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. It's a very niche reference to a Netflix series. However, I highly recommend watching Alice in Borderlands. It's a great show. You'll love it. So this is this meteorite sending out radio transmissions, or what are we what are we hearing here? They just painted the side of a rock with black light paint. Now this area's gonna be crawling with stoners. Ruining natural habitats. It's terrible. I mean, the movie may be bad, but at least it took us on a nice beach vacation, so we get the scenery, so that's that's good. Right? Like, yeah, but that was nice in the movie, like. Warburton Oil Resources. Oh, Patrick Warburton's family made their money through oil. Damn it, I like that guy. Uh. Hey, it's Hound. We're gonna get some Transformers in this movie. Things are looking up. That oh no, it's just an ordinary dude driving a Jeep. Fucking disappointment. Yeah, people ask me, tell us you cuss a lot. How do you monetize your videos? And the answer is, I can't! So who cares? I can cuss all I want. Fuck you, YouTube. Not let me monetize my shit. I'll say whatever the hell I want. You can't stop me. I suppose they could stop me. They could ban me from the platform. But that's not the point. His boots are awfully well polished for someone who's supposed to have been working out in the dirt. Oh, there's a road right over there. I don't think you have a D9er on you. What is a D9er? Is it small? Hello, Mac. Mac, this is Kelly. Come in. I want to talk to you. Mac, come in. Oh, Mac's taking a potty break. That happens. You gotta go. You gotta go, man. They're construction, so they gotta do it in an outhouse. That's just terrible. Sure. Buckingham Palace. Rent is terrible, though. Shack in California. There hasn't been anybody here since. <laughs> I can't imagine why, Dutch. Six square miles of lush tropical garden spot. Man, I'd buy that island if I had money. Shit. Miles off the coast of Africa, right? 
Alright, let's now get you some help. Could back out and work on something else. No, I'm just gonna hang out? Okay. Okay. Yeah, just still here. I want you to keep in mind that later they're gonna say this guy's like the best construction manager in the business. Throwing it out there. No. Have any of you heard of Veronica Lake? I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. Well, let's get out of here. Kelly's gonna be on our tails. We're supposed to be fixing up. You know what? I'll bet there's some new life magazines around here. Who reads new life magazines? All right, fellas, what's the story? <laughs> Morning, glory. Dutch used to be an old explorer scout. He uh, can't seem to break the habit. Yeah, well, you fellas are being paid to hack out a base camp for Warburton's drilling crews, not rummaging around. Patrick's gonna be pissed. Of that B9. Okay, okay, don't get uptight. You hired the best. Uh, we'll get your job done on schedule. You hired the best, but uh, they quit, so we're here. Uh, good point. I'll go rev up my big yellow baby. You do that. Come on, Dutch, let's go. I wanted to hide in the locker. No one knows who the hell that is. Careful. I'll see. Officers. Oh, all sirs. Okay. Doubt the Smokies are riding up on this island anytime soon. Oh, to be fair, they're always where you don't want them and never where you need them, so they could be on the island. Road. I didn't hear a word, but okay, whatever. Let me watch my shows. Hound away! I'm just gonna keep my headcanon. That's really Hound from the Autobots, and he's just pretending to be in a crappy movie. Although, to be fair, they're on a small island that's not been inhabited since World War II. It is possible that any second now, Starscream's going to come out here and build the Combaticons. We might get a uh, Minosaur in the movie. That'd make it worth watching, right? Okay, sweetheart. Destroy. Oh, see, that's the problem. That's why she became Killdozer. She's only been taught how to kill. No one ever taught her how to love. Not even a map of the right island. What the hell am I doing? Well, that was just good housing. Yo, come to think of it. <coughs> these dudes are living on in tents on the beach. Why not just live in that house until you're done with whatever the fuck it is you're doing? Tear it down last, you know? The bulldozer's played by Neville Brand. Movie just told us. Uh, the Jeep's played by Herbert F. Solowahaha. This was the name before I could say all of it. Theodore Sturgeon, they're laying fish work on this movie, that's weird. I don't know, even with a bulldozer, that man's a weakling. I can push it, I swear. Dude, he's like 50 feet. You could walk. I don't think there's really a need for the, uh, Jeep here. Then. Family's doing their stupid group text thing that I keep asking them to not include me in. Definitely a rock. I've seen him before. You don't match the geological formation. You're gonna have to come out. You're gonna show him how it's done. Wait, no, that's what he said. How does it feel to treat me like you do? When you lay your Hold on, I think this thing's getting an FM signal from the 90s. Get out of there, Mac! Show me 
See, what you gotta do is just hit it with more force. Pointing out that this is not a solid strategy. Or particularly clever. <laughs> oh, shit, they activated the black light paint. Shit's about to get trippy. Oh. Oh, shit, the paint's contagious. The truck's infected. Get out of there. Run! No, oh, it got Mac. The hippies got Mac. <laughs> He's kind of short. Can we call him Little Mac? My blood sugar's low. Mac? Oh no! Now the uh, the scoop there is picking up the FM signal. Weird. Sound like Max feeling better, a little little too better. I'm not really sure. I want to hear this. It's, we can we can move on, movie. Job, not Kelly's. My God, the guy's gonna die. Easy. You want Mac to hear you? Well, somebody's gotta do something. Uh, uh, technically, no. He, he can die on his own. It's fine. He's got it covered. I believe in him. Four days out, and besides, it's too slow. <laughs> you, you said four days out. You don't have to qualify that with too slow. We know. Mac needs a doctor in a hospital. Well, maybe the company can arrange for a, a mercy flight. Land where. Is a mercy flight like a mercy kill? Do they just shove him out without a parachute? Well, can't you patch me through to a doctor? Throw this to Taco Bell. Gonna Liberia anywhere as long as he speaks English. No, we're located in San Francisco, sir. Are there any ships in the area? Oh, I wouldn't know, sir. So Taco Bell again. Call me back when you do know. Okay, I guess. Might as well be on the moon. Any chance of a plane? Still can't figure it. What happened or how or why? Well, you hit his favorite rock. Of course he's upset. <sighs> They're watching him like he's a movie. No, guys, I don't want to say nothing, but he, he could be suffering from radiation poisoning. It was, it was a meteorite you struck. You might want to sit back a little bit. He could be shedding radioactive. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. You're all fine. <laughs> well, I called FedEx, and they're sending a really big box. Plenty of time later, Mac. No. No. Alone. What do you have to say to this Joker? If it wasn't hey, for him, now, come on. He's my buddy. I had dibs. I saw him first. Hell, I even licked him. Hey, listen. You hang in there, here. It was really weird that you Stick licked me. You. All the way. We all are. Get out. You heard the mail. Come on. Nobody wants you here. Or anywhere, really. If you could leave the island, that'd be swell. Legs are cramping, but fine. Douche. Ash? Ashley Williams, is that you? What are you doing here? See what? The Deadites, I'm assuming. I don't know exactly. When you hit the rock. Blue. Whatever it was. Were there two of them? Was it perhaps two by two? With hands of blue? I didn't see anything, man. It was there. Went and killed me, Kelly. Oh, come on, Mac. I'm telling you, I saw it. It hasn't killed you. 
Y yet. It was a thing. Oh man. That clears it up. It was a thing. Weird. Unreal. I never seen anything like it. Discount Bruce Campbell. Sure. It's okay now. Lie back and forget about it. I saw it jump. When the blade hit the rock. It, it didn't jump exactly. It's kind of bled, really, and more of a spreading. I, I, it it I, didn't I jump. You, Kelly. Blue light. Two by two. <laughs> Hands of blue. It's there, the blade. <laughs> God, drama queen. Die a little more quietly, please. Some people were trying to sleep. I wonder if he's going to eat that. I'll ask later. I ever tell you I introduced him to his girl at a Halloween party back in the States? Oh, yeah. No one cares. Yeah, but I called her up ahead of time, see? And I said, honey, put on two masks. Fascinating. So Please shut up. Took off the first mask. He saw the second. He went, ah! <laughs> Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that was a terrible story. Shut up, please. And I said to Mac, I said, well, man, what did I tell you? Not much on looks, but terrific personality. <laughs> so what do you say? So he says, I don't know. I made the like story out. The apples. I said certainly. He said with your head. I said no way. <laughs> no idea what the hell that meant. You window, baby. I have no idea. I don't even know what this thing is. Does one of us have a line? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. There, Dutch. Yeah, I want to be with my friend. And what Kelly said to hey, me. Hey. I don't care. What Kelly said. What was that, Dutch? Nothing. Better get a tarp. We're gonna have to bury him for the time being. No, 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 no. It's a medical thing. You see, first you wrap the patient up in foil and you squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there, then you bury it for a few hours and it'll be fine. What's the good Dutch? He's bleeding in his own way. Yeah. Like an ice cube. No, no, Dutch, that's melting, not bleeding. That those are two different things. That's now that, you know it's fine. Whatever. I'm coming for you, Betsy. You done killed my friend. Me and you gonna have it out, fist fight style. Mono A Trucko. Dozo? Bolo. Figure it out later. <coughs> Hi! See, right here's the seat. There's the starter. This is where the fish lives. Uh oh, red, red, he's evil, he's it. Oh, no, no, he's yellow. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Kill those are friendly. Time I admit I have no damn clue how this thing works. Whoa, whoa, girl, she fight me. Whoa, ease down, girl, ease down. How does one tame a bulldozer? Oh God, I knew I should have took them night classes. Oh, hey, that's uncalled for. You don't see her cutting you. So you can't blame her. Cut open my innards, I'd kick your ass out of me too. Dick. Poor Killdozer. Although, for the record, she is driving in a straight line. You could have gone right or left, moving straight forward. Did, what, what was it that... Other internet channel referred to it as uh, the Prometheus School of Running Away. 
running in a straight line from the thing that's traveling in a straight line, you'll be fine. Send him back so these folks can do a proper service. Also, where are we going to get a priest? You couldn't get a doctor. Is Dennis going to grace us with his presence? And look, guys, I don't, I don't want to be judgmental. I know you're burying your friend. You're going through some shit, and like I feel for you. But that is the laziest sandcastle I think I've ever seen. Maybe a fellow could care less if he knew how. Well, construction equipment too. Like Jesus. Don't read something that isn't there, Dad. It doesn't help anyone, least of all Mac. I liked him, Chubb. I miss people I like. Yeah, that's called being human. That's that's pretty normal. Can we It'd be weird if you now? suddenly missed all the people you don't like, but we're totally okay with the absence of the people you did like. Sorry. Becky was a total bitch. I hated her. Plus, she killed my brother. You only God, I miss her. Mackie. What do you say? His trip was short. Too short. Rest in peace, Mac. We'd better go and turn in now. So, you guys gonna eat that or? He working late or getting a head start on tomorrow? Yes? Because, I mean, technically, both things could be true. I feel like you phrased the question wrong. Boy caught him a wild killdozer, bringing it back from the pasture. Also, that sticker on the front looks like it says Wark. So I guess it's a chocobo. Fucking bulldozer bit me. Oh, eyes are right again. Oh, Killdozer's evil kit. No, no, we're good. We're good. Killdozer's back. It's fine. There's only one way to say goodbye to an Irishman, right? Potatoes. Yeah. Mac, you'd like that. Or vodka. Because then you're covering alcohol and potatoes at once. Here, you, Two birds, one stone. I mean, I know vodka's a Russian drink, but still. Did I ever. I knew him well enough yeah, to know this is actually sweet tea, and he was just fucking with you guys. Kid. I'm not a crush. He and I worked together on his first job. You know, Chubb, I sort of showed him the ropes. Only did he learn quick. Listen, let me tell you. Behind that young face, he was about as green as your average fire truck. Our fire know, truck's red. We're working down in Zanzibar, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look hot. this up. Man, is it hot. So we get done and we go at the local Man, it was such a hot a job. Oh, God, it was so hot. Soon, in through the door, walk three of the local talent. Well, they give us the eye. I look at Mac, Mac look at the bang, the kid's gone like a shot. I turn around. Hey. Turns out he's afraid of girls. Hey. The, the... What do you think you're doing? Well, somebody's got to do it. I thought it might be kind of rough on you. Well, since when would you care? Oh. Apparently some fire trucks are green and it's safer than red. Who knew? Learn something new every day. Yeah, he ate it up. You're supposed to read books, not eat them. That's weird. No sweat, huh? No, it's definitely books. It's got me really strung out. Actually, it kind of looks like post-it notes. Index cards. Anyway. Hello! Where'd that come from? We're having one for Mac. Then we're turning in. No problem. You better make it fast, because nobody's sleeping late tomorrow. Have a slug? Someone just died. You can be a little bit less of a dick. Special occasion. Nobody's going to report you to the company for one little shot. I mean, I might. The bars. But I don't like you. We have a bar? When the fuck did we get a bar? And why wasn't I informed? Sorry. Ignore that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what do you mean, reporting to the company? He's a dried out drunk. Making good with his jobs is his last chance with the company. Way to spread someone else's shit. Oh, you're a real sweetheart, dude. I agree with him. Fuck you, man. 
That would be like, that would be the rough equivalent of like, well, his wife just cheated on him with five guys. Like, the dude had to live through it. You have to fucking remind him, sure. Yeah, you're right. How did you get that? The D-9. I want you to check it out in the morning, and I mean good. Why, what's wrong? You find out, and then you tell me. Here, here, let me do that. Give me some clue. I don't like the way she acts. She's got a real attitude problem. I'm thinking about calling HR about it. Killed my friend. Oh. Suck rock! Oh. Oh, woke her up. She was sleeping. Oh, wait, is that Dutch? Get him. Get him. Get him. Kill Dozer. Kill Dozer. Kill. Aw, oh, missed. Also, I don't think it was Dutch. Now, Killykins. I don't, don't want to be overly judgmental, but it's been about 30 minutes, and you still haven't technically killed anybody. Pick it up, man. We ain't got all night. Get some murder going. That this job is coming in right on the money. And Monty, one more thing. Have you notified McCarthy's mother? McCarthy? Yeah. The Speaker of the House have to do with this. Well, I want somebody to go over there personally. I don't want her getting some lousy telegram. Right. Okay. Yeah. Same Bro, time tomorrow. Not, not a telegram. What about a candy gram? Hello? No, hey, I'm Kelly. no, I thought it was a good idea. Kelly. All right, so we got Hound, and there's Bone Crusher. That, there's one of the constructor cones. Sure. I don't know that one's name. Well, I found the compression lever wired down, the drain cocks open, the air intake blocked, and the main fuel line cut. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I did all that. Because I didn't want her going anywhere. You sure made sure. Well, you saw this. Remember that 99 the Fish bit me. we had nobody could handle? Yeah. <coughs> we got another? Possibility. <coughs> Still, if you say she's okay... Well, yeah, she's a little drunk, there but... There was one thing. Come here. Right here. Listen. I couldn't locate whatever's causing it. I can feel something inside myself. Really don't know. Felton came by asking for her up at the Marl Pit. Well, he's just going to have to make do with the D4. I don't want anybody taking this machine out until wait, I get wait, the green Okay, so wait, I, I'm getting confused on our construction machines. This is a D9? On me. Yeah, I guess I am for right now. Well, when the time comes. Looks like David Carradine's older, uglier uncle. Right? See it? Just me? Maybe I better move your cut into the ADD so we can get some work done around here. No, no I can't reach the controls while laying down. Then get at it now. I'm getting tired of your attitude. And I'm tired of being kept in the dark. What oh, my. Oh, his fun. pants are swa His ass is swallowing his pants. That's unnecessary. We didn't need to see that. You're a sourball. Yeah. I'm the best shovel operator you'll ever have. It's not hard, bro. You grab the handle and you shove the head in the dirt. Now, what's hard about operating a shovel? It's just this see i got it down i, I could shovel i could be a shoveler how much did that pay word. you didn't take back seriously he was out of his head yeah yeah makes sense i mean he was dying after all still last night i wondered i could have sworn the d9 blade moved my foot out. Oh, so this is the guy killed those were sucked in. More careful. Oh shit, careful. I hadn't thought about that. Thanks, dick. <laughs> How are you just now noticing? He wasn't exactly stealthy.
Uh oh, Kildors is gonna call for reinforcements. Oh, you hate to see it. Machine on machine violence. They should be working together, forming a union. Although, to be fair, who does not love to watch heavy machinery roll over shit? Hound away! Dangerous high explosives, as opposed to all the normal kinds of high explosives. Wait a second, this isn't a weak pressure, what am I doing? Stuck. This is a terrible rescue operation. See, now why? Why would you get out of the out of control bulldozer? It can't run you over when you're in it. Also, kill Borzer's killing spree starts, and the very first thing he does is target the black man. Typical. Also, guys, I, I hate to criticize your movie. No, I don't. That's what I'm here for. I think your cameraman's drunk. Oh, no. I see what's happening now. He's taking the cameraman doing those romantic spin each other around things. Bulldozers waving with that thing on the smokestack. Hi! Oh, no, 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 this makes sense. The bulldozers, once they lose sight of you, they completely forget you exist. That's... I mean, they might run you over anyway, but... Now it's not out of hate. He just drives in there. That guy's gonna squirt out of there like toothpaste. Well, parts of him are gonna squirt out of there like toothpaste. Well, the inside parts. The inside parts are gonna squirt out like toothpaste. They lost another friend, so they decided to go on a surfing trip. And we all mourn in our own way, don't judge. Gentlemen, I hate to sell it, say it, but I really do think we're starting to suck at sandcastles. It doesn't look like anything. It's a mound of dirt. It was sworn we built a foyer around here somewhere. Where the hell did that go? Oh, looks like they preemptively dug a couple of extra graves. That seems like a good plan. Also, totally Team Killdozer. But... Looks like he was just looking over the funeral site and bragging. And that's fucked up, Killdozer. Come on, you have to rub it in. Makes you wonder. Really makes you wonder. Okay, how did it happen? And don't give us none of that about the D9 or going haywire. We want to know. What you're thinking? Tell us, how do you feel? I don't know why. You were there, you saw it. Maybe you were seeing pink elephants too. Yeah, they were driving the D-Niner. Kelly, Mac and Al are dead. Get off his back. I saw Belton lose control and go plowing into that radio before the thing ran away with him. He must have bailed out. You saw by the tracks how he got it. What more do you need? A logical explanation. You know, he's got to come up with one sooner or later. It's going to have to be later because there's an hour of daylight left and there's work to be done. So let's get at it, huh? You just lost two co-workers. Go back to work. This guy's truly an American capitalist. Yeah, I got to tell you. It's like those Amazon warehouse managers. No, no, work around the corpse. Work around the corpse. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> Again, Team Killdozer. My dog. It's my dog right there. 
Oh, bulldozer. Not not really a dog. I mean, at best, it's still it's still a bipod. Tough, you know. I mean, Beltran and his wife just started to plan a family. Oh, she can still have a family. Admittedly, not with Beltran, but this is why I freeze my seed. That way, if something happens to me, Lex can still have a kid. Kidding, of course. <laughs> hey, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to go swimming. Me and Mac used to go swimming. We go swimming all the time. I Most seriously time, started thinking Mac were in a relationship. Like a used to think Which, we were you know, crazy. no shame. Just crazy. admit it. You have to be crazy to be in this business, right? Live hard, laugh hard, because... Hey, Dennis, come on. Go swim. Yeah, come on, right now, we can go. Sure. While we're at it, let's uh, send out for some pizza. Think they'll deliver to the island? That seems weird, because... Oh, you're being an ass. Oh. I'm by myself. Blackjack and hookers. Record myself swimming. You'll see. This sounds like the first thing they found when they searched for copyright-free pop music. I see its tracks. Get me my rifle. I'm going bulldozer hunting. Bob Beltran, what exactly did you see? Think of them. Straight, huh? Also, a bunch of intestines flying out of his mouth. It was really gross. The D-Niner was operating by itself when it ran him down. Throttling, pivoting, floating the blade. How? I don't know how. Some... Malfunction in the controls. You've seen rogue machinery operate before. Look, Weird, though, because it drives itself better than we ever did. I'm starting to think we're not good I'm at this. I'm trying to warn you. It, a blue light. My God, it was there in the blade. You don't believe that. The question is, do you? No. Maybe. Hell, I don't know. Shut that noise off and get some sleep. When out, floss around. Now, don't you start. Tell it you can't play ostrich. I don't even know what that means. The audience doesn't know what that means. It's out of fuel. It's putting his head in the sand, but somewhere. still, still dumb sand. So we leave it be and let the company engineers come in and find the bugs in it later. And if you're wrong, wait. If you get roaches inside of your bulldozer, it can go haywire. Do do insects know how to drive heavy machinery? No, seriously, because I'm getting kind of scared now. I live in Florida. There's fucking bugs everywhere. Every construction site's a possible fucking horror show. Like, look at that. Imagine just cockroaches taking over all those machines. We're all screwed! I guess just hide inside. They wouldn't want to destroy the houses. They live here. Plus, we provide them food. No, I think we're actually okay. I think we're okay. Silently and by night, the bulldozer stalks her prey, pushing through the underbrush, making a nest for herself from which to start and end her hunts. Oh, so thank y'all! Up, lights went red, she's in kill mode. Oh, uh, no, we're back to yellow, she's fine, she's fine. Nope, but no, we're good. Stumps. He's just a farmer in past life. Warco! Oh, is this going to turn out to be like Killdozer was built by a military contractor and they used the AI trip from uh, like some kind of weaponry? That old, that old nut, almond, whatever, however that expression goes, I don't fucking know. 
have you been? I don't believe Mac was delirious. I saw the D-Niner operating all by itself. Yeah, I told you that. You're paid to work. You saw it too, didn't you, when it got Belton? I told yeah. you that too. You know, I suppose it's possible for two guys to have the same hallucination, but for two guys as different as you and me, never. No, it's still possible. Still totally possible. Listen, Buster, I got a completion date, and I haven't got time Come to Come off it! We're up against something we can't fight until we can figure it out. I can't tell if this is a naturally occurring wrinkle or if he's got a massive scar down I the side of his face. Of that rock that you hit. It's what asymmetric. It's weird. You know geology better than me. Look close and tell me if you ever saw anything like it. Meteorite, maybe? Oh, for the love of God, man. Will you face it? Two of us are dead. And? Well, What's your conclusion? Are you another one? I'm Sorry, keeping this rock. What do you think I should do? We gotta level with the other guys. Assuming there is something inside that dozer, we find it and destroy it. How? We got plenty of dynamite. Are you crazy? That D-Niner costs 90... 90 what? No, oh, I forgot. Fine. Okay, come on. You see Dennis bail out of bed this morning? Nope. So? So, he and your friend Kelly are up to something. I mean for them, not us. I think the pressure's got to both of them. They're looking out for number one and two. <laughs> Bathroom code. Mike thing bought you a bad dream. What bad dream? There are two graves down there on the beach. And there's lots of room for two more. Uh, at least Listen, two Doug, people were on this island before. There could be more, you don't know. More experienced construction boss in the business. So See? let's clam up this dumb talk and get this thing back on a job. Sure. Ow, yeah, knock it off. Most experienced boss in the business. Survival of management, that's what they call it. Guys like us, we're expendable. Well, you are Dutch. You Nobody take likes that you. Paper bag off your head and open up those trusting eyes. I like the paper bag. It keeps the ladies from running away. Job. We're going to be on the beach pretty soon. Stretched out, Chubb. With umbrella drinks. Listening to surf. And, oh, he meant something different. Hound arrives. Hey, Dutch. Chubb, come here. I want to talk to you. No, you blow the dynamite up when he's over it, not in front of the scoop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That slight incline will stop him. Yeah, this is kind of fucked up. I mean, I know they're shitty houses, but like, come on, killdozer. Kill the people. I'm okay with that. Don't fuck up their home. It's fucking rude. Hide in the brush. She'll never see us. You guys are bad at dynamite. Not the tire swing! Oh, there's claw marks. Someone's trying to scratch it as they have one under. That's sad. I don't even know what that was. What the hell are we building out here? Oh, never mind. I was about to say you don't run over barrels and get a fire, but knock down the electrical light. That would be the point of ignition. Now that actually makes sense. That's actually a pretty good idea detail for a movie like this. I mean, credit words do, you know what I'm saying? Like, I make fun of movies, but you gotta give them credit. That was my mechanic shop. <laughs> Mac used to sleep in that tent. <laughs> Here we see the wily bulldozer hiding out in the marsh fields. Soon she will find the herd of gazelle grazing nearby. Then she will bound from the underbrush, looking to take down her prey. Hey, Kildors are made off with all the porn! Oh, that poor Jeep's plum tuckered out! Poor guy. I, oh. Shake it out and gas them all up, will you? Shake it out? Yeah, it's grabbed by the rear bumper like a beach towel. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dutch's radio still works. There's no god. 
there's food, canned stuff, two jerrys of water. That ought to hold us till the supply boat day Two jerrys of water, is that a new unit measurement? Hey, a jerry? Dutch, will you How much is a jerry? Off? It's two marks. Three Steves. No, it's sitting on the spool right there, I can see it. I love the smell of music in the morning. That's got to be it, huh? That thing is running by remote control. Listen. Listen, you guys. We gotta do something. I mean, something's wrong. Machine no shit. Machines just don't run by themselves. That means there's somebody else on this island. You know, foreign spies or something. About a yes, science. spies it's trying to covertly gather data with their remote control the bulldozer. There's got to be a logical explanation. Does never got listen. Gassed up? Yep. I'd sure like to know what that D9 is running on. Yeah, so would Plays I. around with dynamite. He gasses up trucks the entire time. He's got a lit cigar in his mouth. Oh, we're not going after the D9. Price he's we lived as long as he has. It. I still say it's remote control. <coughs> we can move faster. We'll hide and run. Gain time until that ship shows up. You're calling the shots. I can't tell if no one believes Dutch about the remote control or if they're just like, dude, what the fuck's it matter? Dutch, you better ride We're dead the either way. Uh, sorry, I just remembered I don't like you. I'm gonna go over here now. Man, fuck you too, shit. Now I can... No one to judge me for my fats. Hey, Dennis. Did I ever tell you I played in the Cotton Bowl? Please shut up. In 64, I caught two touchdowns. Please. Autobots! Roll out! We've already established that this chief here is Hound, right? And, oh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. So that's Hound. They're leaving the Constructicons behind. That's good, because, you know, they don't get along with the Autobots. Oh, snap! Killdozer's been spying on them this whole time! Maybe it is a spy. So we got Hound, Hound's little brother, uh, Found. You come up with the name. Shut up. And then in the back there, that's that that blue robot from the the Transformers movie in Gen Two, the one that was like a, a role model for Rodimus. Can't remember his name. You can shout it out in the comments and call me a dumbass if you want. That's fine. A kill kill dozer here is clearly Bone Crusher. So yeah, we got we got a lot of Transformers in this movie. Oh hey, whoa! I don't want to upskirt the friggin' robots. Come on. Ah, oh, feel dirty. Orco. Orco? War Wark. Wark? Wark? She won't make it any further up this grade. Not even that steep a hill. Your truck sucks. How mechanic are you? Up. Oh. <laughs> I think Killikins can make it up that hill. Now we're upskirting the evil robot, or the evil wool lizard. This movie's well, got some weird fetishes. Up there first. We don't want to get ourselves trapped. Hey guys, you want to laugh? Wait till you hear the cockamamie story old Denny's been handing me. Love the laugh, but I doubt can do you can help with that. Man, it's terrific. Well, the truth is, we don't know anything for a fact. Except that bulldozer kills. That's good enough for me. It's true, they do know that for a fact. Here with Dutch. Chub, let's take a look. Why do I keep getting stuck with Dutch? You guys sucked! So, hey Dutch, what do you want to do? There's some logical explanation. Wait, there's two Jeeps. Why don't I just take both? Oh, wanted to get away from hey, Dutch. Dennis? No, I understand. Listen. Want some music? That thing can't hear. As far as you know. Look. Maybe this isn't such a good idea, you know? 
Maybe Hanging out with you, I agree. Split up. Kelly and Chubb, you and me. Like How about we split up twice? And we stand a better chance. What do you say? Why not every man for himself? See, he thought it too. Everybody wants to get away from Dutch. You serious? I don't like being alone. We I get scared. Together. I am curious as to why they're wearing the hard hats. No one's working overhead. They're not even working. <coughs> I doubt they're that comfortable. And they sure are shitting on a protection from the bulldozer, so like... Why, why keep them on? Given time, it can make a road anywhere it wants to go. Well, then we'd better fight back. What do you think about building a signal farm? Maybe an airplane or a fishing boat might... Thing's fucking huge. You can't see without the binoculars. How bad is your vision? Rifle. Hunt that bulldozer. Those are skin boots. Bulldozer skin pants. Yeah, it's actually a terrible idea. Don't do that. Or do it, but videotape and put it online so I can watch you scorch off your eyebrows. Either way. See, it's not really a signal fire, per se. They're actually just trying to help poor Killy stay warm at night. Although, again, Killy, we, we've been at this for a while. We're almost at the hour mark, and you've killed one person. Come on, man. Pick it up. Chubb's got an idea. We, we, we got left. That dozer. Run his yes. truck into it. And 23 ah, minutes left and you have four people to kill. Steel. It'll take out the electrical systems and the rubber. Hey, that's gonna beautiful. miss her quota. Uh, I and I ain't gonna help her with the boss. We're going about this wrong. There's a good spot down the road about a half a mile. Let's get down there and set it up. You know that we always set it up. Set it up! See? Finding a place to stay warm for the night. Now she's raising her arms in worship, I guess? Oh, no, no, sweetie, don't roll over the fire. Oh, okay, okay. Is that like blinking? For evil possessed bulldozers. So I guess they're coming back down the hill since the blue truck's with them. Oh, yep, they're still there. I'm beginning to get this, you know? Sort of like being on patrol in Vietnam. Yeah, sure. You weren't in Vietnam. Shut up. Why don't they just build a shitty boat and anchor it just like a little ways off the coast? They know they got the boat coming in. Then they can tell them, hey, don't go on the island. There's a killer fucking bulldozer. They won't believe them, but, you know, they can try. It's not like, you know, they said they could bulldozer could build a road anywhere, but you can't build a road in the ocean. House, what are the claws coming off her ass? Look out! Here I Chub! come to wreck Chub! your day! Okay, why did it explode? Anyone? I mean, I can see it dumping gas all over the crown, creating a massive environmental problem. That's not the word I wanted, but whatever. But like, I don't see why it exploded. And now I feel like we've gone into an entirely new movie. I'm not entirely bad with that, but 
Oh, here we go. One, two. They've only failed the same castles twice. Marjorie. And two boys in college. And a few good friends. He was my friend. Yeah, for what that was worth. I'll finish. Oh, just act, ask Killdozer for help. Push the dirt right over him. I mean, she made the mess. She can clean it up. That's all I'm saying. Plus, didn't we see him jump out of the truck? Why is he dead? Oh, there she is, gloating again. Ha ha ha, I killed your friend. Suck it, nerds. Do you believe that thing? I can, <clears throat> I can buy that some weird turn? blue alien virus possessed the bulldozers may have killed people. What I won't buy is that without gas, it's still brushing smoke. Fine, the virus it makes did. it run. That's fine, whatever. I'll buy it. That ambush? Well, where the fuck's the you smoke coming from? We were gonna do, and it did it first. At least you got out, Dutch. I'm Damn it. coward, Kelly. I don't want to die. Oh, he jumped out. That's not being a coward. Hey, it's in the neighborhood of being a coward. Don't get me wrong. I'm a massive fucking coward. I've been out of there way sooner than he was. Let's get out of here! You know, except for you back there burying the body. We'll leave you. Make sure to jump in the grave before you die to save us some time later. You guys drive everywhere. He was 20 feet behind you. I have rocks for you! And first it's gonna be rocks, and then it rolls. Don't leave Hound! Most likable character in this whole fucking movie. Then there were three. Got a barf bag on the front. That's weird. What if it comes? We call for our. Oh, then it'll be happy. We got speed. We run and keep running until help gets here. Uh, oh, you mean what if it arrives? Nope. Wait, that's still. Find some way to what if it that thing? moves into Kill the machine. area? Maybe we should appeal to its sense of decency and fair play. Maybe. You stink. All right, come on. Come I mean, on, there's no shower on the island. Of course he stinks. He probably all do. Judgy. Taking the binoculars. He's mine, yeah. Listen. Bugging you. He's right on the edge. I'm sorry. Pain makes me snide. No, you're pretty much always dead. Off. I'll see what I can do. Never mind. I can make it. I'm not stripping for you, weirdo. It's tough for alone. Now, this is probably the stealthiest bulldozer I've ever fucking seen. I'm not saying a whole hell of a lot. I don't, I'm not around too many bulldozers, but like... My experience, they're all fucking loud as shit. Now, guys... I don't want to tell you how to live your life, Let's but hanging out here. in a narrow canyon when there's a killer bulldozer on the loose, probably not the best idea. Shove shit down on your head, come at you and you can't get out because there's only two directions to go. I mean. <clears throat> I get with the smoke! There's no gas! Oh, that's what her butt spiders are for. Holding her in place so she can push. I can push back. Kill Dutch? Kip. Kill Dutch? Kip. Kip. Kill Dutch? Please? Kill? Hey. Uh, Dutch, you're supposed to stay in one place when you pee. 
Here what? <clears throat> the surf. And also the turf. Oh, man, what I wouldn't give for a moonlight swim, you know? Hey, Dennis. The menace? I ever tell you about the time in Kuwait? Me and Mac, we were. Oh my god, stop with the stories. Nobody cares. <laughs> Getting to think nobody likes my stories. I have no reason for living. What's it doing out there? Doing a war dance? Maybe it won't attack at night like John Wayne's Indians. You're crazy. Everybody Coach, knows bulldozers are crazy. nocturnal. He's gonna get us killed. That thing's trying to murder us. Hey, easy. Take it easy, Dutch. Tell you what. How about, uh... For medicinal purposes only, huh? Hey, right. Yeah, no, if I had to kill a bulldozer after me, I'd be in trash, too. Stretch out, or, relax you know, if I had to watch a movie about to kill a bulldozer. And private stock? One I took from you, asshat. Yeah, bro, if there's ever a time to fall off the wagon, you're pretty much fucking there. <laughs> kind of like... Dutch. I was a pack-and-a-half, two-pack-a-day smoker for 16 years before I transitioned to e-cigs because they're, you know, moderately healthier for you. But I guarantee you, if I'm in a situation where someone's trying to kill me, if I, fuck it, I'm smoking. I'm gonna die anyway. What, what the fuck's worse the cigarettes can do, you know? You know, you're finished with get out of this thing weird that they're paying the investigations other. asking for things we don't have like a logical explanation so we logical explanation from my like boot in your ass right? and he's power plant fiasco i told him the truth then too. oh and they crucified you for it i'm now curious what about the andy's power plant fiasco can we get some details Johnson, your reputation your left pinky toe Stand in front of me, you're only caught in the stream. They're facing each other, this will be messy as hell. have anything you care about losing. Travel light, and travel alone. That's the way you play it. And nobody lays a glove on me. I mean, I'm miserable, lonely, and kind of want to kill myself, oh, but happy. nobody lays a glove on me, so that's good. Ah, uh, she killed those uh, she ple- she- Patiently waits for her moment to strike. The gazelles, they will not know what is coming. Then she shall feed. Fuck this here. Dutch, I'm going swimming! Hey, Dutch! Hold it! Could have walked. See? Your sobriety caused you. If you had helped drink just a little bit of that bottle, maybe he wouldn't have gotten so for schnookin'. Well, that looks like the wrong stretch of beach to have driven up on. Ah, uh, the Jeep stalled. This is a pretty one-sided game of chicken. I mean, fair if the Jeep was moving, it'd still be a pretty one-sided game of chicken. Uh, Dutch? I just want to remind you, you have legs. The Jeep is not your only means of moving. Well, Dutch picked his fight. Stood up for himself. Worst possible fucking moment to do that, but he did it. <laughs> and, uh, Killykins won. Then there were two. And we finally killed Dutch. Thank you, Killykins, you beautiful beast. Oh, we're gonna get another one? Uh, oh. Got away. Honestly, so far, the only person that died that I regret losing is Chubbs. The shuttle! I mean, the first dude Killikins killed, like, 
He seemed like he might be a nice guy, but like, we didn't really spend any time with him, you know what I'm saying? They get to know him, so. Like, yeah. Chubbs seemed pretty chill, though. I've known a lot of guys like Chubbs. Oh, Steam Shovel! Yeah, I thought, I thought they were talking about, see, that takes more skill. That's, yeah, okay. Oh, shit. One thing you never want to do is get in an arm wrestle match with a steam shovel. I think Killa can smatter match here. Let's see how this one plays out. Steam shovel's going for a high end insert. Oh, we got Killa Kins on the rope. Nope, she's coming back into it. She's wheeled back. She's coming in strong. What will shovel do? If I was our main character, I'd have gotten the fuck out of here. I don't know why. Now we got ourselves here a tug of war style simulate situation. They're going straight sumo on each other. I gotta tell you, in a sumo style match, I got money on Killikins. I don't think the shovel's got it, but we'll see what happens. West, isn't that Kanye's kid? Now you got him blocked. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Killikins is going to switch the blue shit over to the shovel. Now we're gonna have a, a evil possessed kill dozer and kill shovel. Or not. I've been wrong before. No, not the smokestack! I don't. I feel like that was the rough equivalent of kill it, cutting Killigan's fingernails. I don't think it's gonna affect her much. That don't affect me much. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, and Killikins got the shovel pinned. I don't know, this doesn't seem like a positive situation for either machine, right? Shovel can't move its arm, Killikins can't drive forward, like... Kinda seems like you're both fucked. Oh, yep, that can't be good. I don't know how they thought that was going to end. I am desperately curious. But I don't think... I don't, I don't know how they thought that was going to end. Oh, Killikins is mating. The shovel's deeply confused. Thought she was right. You can't kill a machine. Oh. Kill a machine. I thought he was saying Dutch was right to give up. Hey. Wait a minute. Of course you can't kill a machine. Don't you see our mistake? No. No. Hey, whatever. That's what has to be stopped. But how? I don't know. But there's a way. The sun? There's gotta be a way. Think, man. How I mean, do you go blue about bugs. A, a killer? Why are you hitting Still the guy with cracked ribs? That was a dick move. The gas chamber. Wait a minute. Electricity. Brilliant. Electricity. Electrocution. We shoot juice into that big dozer. We got that generator. You, you just said electricity, though. Why, why would the juice do? We need a conductor. Somebody <coughs> spinning your wheels, Kelly. No, conductor? I'm not. You're going to get kill dozer to play in a symphony? I would pay to see that, actually. It'll work. That, that would be very That's interesting. That's what's going to make it work. Come on, Sarvo. Give me a hand. I already gave you a rib. I like the uh, the scoop, kind of rocking back and forth. That's fun for me. It's like Killdozer's waving. I don't. Why are you hiding it? 
first off, that's an insulator. It'll straight. take some of the power to the electricity. Not much, but some. But second off, do you, gets both treads on that you think Killdozer Wham, we fired understands? Like assuming it'll come from that direction. I'll jockey the grater. And assuming it's dumb enough to be suckered. And you're gonna be at that generator, ready to throw the switch, right? I mean, sure, but these panels are made out of plastic. I don't know what this is going to do. It's under warranty. Don't tell jokes. You're bad well, at you it. You may make it yet, Starball. Nope, oh, nope. Killdoes are still mating with a shovel. Weird. But, you know, whatever. As long as they're both happy. As long as it's two consenting adult construction vehicles, it's fine. I'm done with you, shovel. Get down, it's coming! Again, I don't think Kildos are smart enough to figure out your plan. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I still don't get how so many people died to this thing. It moves at half the speed of smell! Wait a second, I think there's panels that are ready to be rigged with electricity under here. Again, maybe I was wrong. Maybe Kildos are smart enough to be like, no, wait, fuck that. Also, is it safe to be storing barrels of diesel fuel right next to the electrical generator? Beat the shit out of him with a crowbar, cause I'm a manly on, man. Closer. Come on! Come on and get me! Come on! Over here! Your acting's not even good, I wouldn't fall for that. Hey, dick! That was my eye! Oh, someone's just asking to get killed, dozed! Fast, like hop skipping away. Hold up. I think it's actually saying ow. But listen, listen. Ow, see? Ow! 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 That's the best part of this fucking movie. The kill is like. Actually, crying, kind of. Well, I don't know why you guys are acting so happy. It doesn't look like it died. It looks like you just pissed it off. Oh, never mind. Black White's back. Now it's going to transfer into Broken Rib Guy, and he's going to start killing. And, and oh. oh, they actually killed the alien? Good job, jackasses. We finally make contact with alien life, and you just fucking kill it. Didn't even try to communicate. And again, it was in a bulldozer. They, they're not that fast. You could have just fucking avoided it. Ah, oh, it's still alive! It's still alive! The thing is dead. Yeah. But we're not exactly home free. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna believe this shit. We're both going down for murder. All we got is our word that the thing existed. You know, we could fake things. Tell the authorities the guys got caught in a landslide. Yeah, except for the guy who's got tread marks on his face. No matter what. No matter what. You know, in about a hundred years, I might get to like you. I'll still hate you. Blow your whole philosophy? All I know is I'm sure glad to be alive. So am I, Sarbo. You gotta be honest, Sourball, I'm not so thrilled by it. I.
I kind of would have been happy if killed us or won. I'm a little sad that you killed it. I actually thought... Okay, so like I deliver pizzas for a living and I'll play these videos in my car to watch them to prepare for the streams. And like, I can't watch closely, I can just glance at red lights, right? When they did the uh, freeze frame on the, the hard hat here, I thought it just like landed on the scoop perfectly. I was like, that's a weird choice. And also a little disrespectful to the dead. All right, we lost Killdozer. Killdozer was a true American hero and deserved better. <laughs> now, now Killdozer can never join the island with carry kit and car and other possessed vehicles that I know I know, but I cannot think of. Also, while I was watching videos for tonight's uh, stream, I got a little pissed because my YouTube playlist auto-played to Critters. Critters is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time, and I thought that meant that it was copyright-free and someone posted to their channel, which would mean I would, I would be able to riff it. I was looking forward to it. I was super excited. And... No, it's on the copyright holder's YouTube page. and It's, it's free with ads. I, I recommend watching it. It's a great it's a great fucking movie. But uh it's not Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate the fuck out of you if you were watching this on Twitch. Thank you so much. Appreciate you hanging out with me. I would appreciate the follows. I like the follows. I want to try to get up to eight hundred follows. We are ten away. I would appreciate that. If you were watching this over on the tubes of you Thank you so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end. I do appreciate that. It helps me with my analytics. I would also greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and like. These also help me with the analytics. And maybe pop something into the comments. Anything. Just to make fun. I don't fucking care. Because that also helps me with the analytics and helps me get out there. And, I, you know, helps me get more views, shall we say. Anyway, my friends, my freaks, my villains... It has been an absolute blast. As always, I love your faces. Remember, next Friday will be another uh, live riff. There was a... I've got one of my Wednesday recordings done. I might re re redo it, though. I don't I don't feel great about it. I might redo it to try to get a better one. It's for the movie uh, Chopping Mall. It's one of my all-time favorites. I personally believe it should be a cult classic. Uh, but that one requires me to do some editing because there's boobies in the movie. And, you know... We're a relatively family-friendly stream. Relatively, I swear, like a sailor. But, like, I don't want to show boobies all over my channel. Boobies! Not that there's anything wrong with boobies. I just, you know, keep it PG. Anyway, so I'm working on that. Um, yeah, no, I got nothing else. Thank you all so much. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. You are beautiful, beautiful mammals. I will catch you next time. Until then, my friends, my freaks, my villains, remember to take care of yourselves. Look out for one another. And have a great day! Also, um, the channel, it's Anything Goes Theater. This is new. Hold on, let me, let me get to where y'all can see it. This is new. This is the first time we've watched a movie by this channel. Uh, if you could please go give them the likes and the subscribes. They deserve it help their channel out too for being so kind just to put this movie out there for us thank you all so much i'll catch you next time have a great night